Good afternoon. I'm Eleanor, and today I want to take you for a three-minute night dive on a coral reef. Now, the ocean at night is dark, so if you want to see anything, you're going to need a torch. And for this dive, we're going to use a special torch, one that only emits blue light. So take a deep breath, dive down, switch on your blue torch and shine it on the reef. And this is what you'll see. Now the proteins inside these corals are taking up the blue light from your torch and they are re-emitting it as green or red light. This is called fluorescence and you can actually observe it in your everyday life by shining, for example, a black light um, on neon paint or highlighters or even a gin and tonic. <laughs> corals like these build one of the richest and most diverse ecosystems you can find anywhere on the planet. Reefs around the world host about a quarter of all fish species and they protect our coastlines from waves and storms. The reason corals are so successful is that they live in symbiosis with microscopic plants who harvest the energy from the sun and they use it to produce food for the coral. However, if the water becomes too warm or too polluted, these plants will be damaged and lost. The corals starve and the reef dies. So by warming our climate and polluting our seas, we are threatening coral reefs and the coastal populations that depend on them for their livelihoods. Now, when corals start to lose their plants, it's often too late to do anything about it. It's much harder to treat a patient when the symptoms are already advanced. So what we really need is a way of detecting the very first signs that something might be wrong with the reef before the corals start to die. Well, actually, looking at corals under a blue light, like you're doing right now, could well be the answer to our problem. When corals are stressed, they decrease their production of fluorescent proteins. So they appear dim. They lose this healthy glow. And these proteins are so sensitive that we can actually detect stress way before the reef is in serious trouble. Now, on a reef, as you can see here, there are many different species of corals. And even within the same species or the same individual, like here, there can be multiple different fluorescent proteins. And some of these might be more sensitive than others to a particular type of stress. So one is more sensitive to warm water, one to pollution. So by really understanding this relationship and by monitoring subtle changes in fluorescence in my PhD, I hope that one day we'll be able to tell not only when the reef is in danger, but also why. Thank you. <laughs>